hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how basically you you can use the youtube iframe embed api in order to embed any sort of youtube uh, video with advanced controls out there you will see that basically these are the four controls we are adding here you can go to any time of the video any timestamp you can control the volume you can control the duration of the video you can play the video pause the video and let me just show you a short little demo here so you can see if i load this page here we are loading this video here this is my own video and let's suppose if i want to play this video i have this button out there if i click the play button the video will play you can see that let me also put the audio so you can see that guys uh, the video is playing right here and basically if i click the pause button you will see the video will stop the video is stop again if i play you will see that so we can see we are controlling these two events out there we are pausing the video we can also play the video also so this is all uh, coming through the youtube iframe uh, video embed api and uh, then also guys you can also control the duration so let's suppose if i inside this range input field out there so basically if i increase it you can go to and so this is the full volume and type you can see that screenshot as we desktop. can control this volume see. using this simple little slider here we don't need to go to into the youtube player and to control the volume we can control it using this like this you can see that video so you can you can control the duration whenever you initialize your node chip you can see that just require it we are controlling this in the command line simply right here npmi with this slider you can see that the uh, volume is gone simply you need to and let's suppose guys if you want to go to a specific section of the video let's suppose if you want to go to this section without uh, having to press like this you can control like this basically you can go to any location of the video basically you will see using this slider basically we are going to the starting of this video you can see that without touching this and if you go to like this we are touching like this so in this way guys we are controlling it uh, from which location we want to go to into inside the video so basically you can see that we are going into this video so these are the four controls out there guys you can play pause control the duration volume of the video and all that cool cool little stuff and also we have got a input field out there also guys if you see at the very top we have got the input field out there and basically here you can import any video let's suppose if i copy link address and if i paste this link address click on embed video you will see the nice little video uh, this is a new video which is embedded right here so we will be building this application guys i have written all the source code in the description of this video you can go to the description of this video this is my step by step blog post here i have written all the source code with step by step instruction you can go to it and copy paste all the source code now let's get started by building this application so first of all guys i will delete all the source code from both the files so we will start from scratch so just create an index.html file guys so right here inside your file guys you need to include the cdn of uh, iframe so simply after the body you need to paste the script tag which is uh, https www.youtube.com slash iframe underscore api so basically this is the script tag guys you need to include right here this is the cdn for the api and now we will be including the custom javascript inside script.js that's it inside your html guys we will have a simple uh, uh, video player where we will be loading the embedding the video so just give it an id of a player container and uh, inside this guys we will have a div which will have got the id of player so here we will be embedding the video guys so now we just need to write the custom javascript code inside script.js so here we just need to load the video that we want to display on the video uh, on the web page when we load the page for the very first time so guys you will see we are loading this file which api which is iframe underscore api so whenever this api loads guys it automatically executes some functions that we need to declare here the very first function let me declare a player variable so this will be the youtube player variable and this basically api guys iframe api executes this function which is called as on youtube iframe 
the spelling needs to be same here on YouTube iframe API ready like this so this is a method which automatically gets called guys whenever the API is loaded so if I just console log a message that API is loaded so now you can see we are not calling this function it will automatically execute here after this script tag is done right here so now if I open this with live server and just make sure that guys you type here localhost not 127.0 just type localhost here and now if I check here inside my console you will see that no message will be printed out but still this function will execute this function if you see this function will automatically execute and here we just need to basically uh, load the video so inside your uh, this function guys which is uh, youtube uh, on youtube iframe oh, sorry this t needs to be capital that's why i was thinking why this function is not executing on youtube i is capital frame api ready yeah this is the function and now if i execute this just refresh it So now you can see that guys in the you can see the message API is loaded. So basically guys this is the method which gets loaded every time you load the API. So here we can basically embed our video. We can create the player here. Basically we can simply say that player is equal to new yt dash player so yt they, basically this contains a constructor let me just write this dot player and here guys we just need to assign the whatever id that you have given to the this one which is player so this needs to be same here so we are passing this player id here and the second argument it takes the options it you can control the height of the video player let's suppose i pass 500 width will be around 900 and then we just need to pass the video id guys video id is nothing but uh, if you go to youtube and let's suppose if you want to embed this video you will just copy this link address and this is basically the video id so simply you need to copy this video id and simply paste it so right here this is a video id and then we got a object guys which is uh, executes player variables and this includes your uh, controls players inline this contains constant values autoplay if you want to autoplay a video this needs to be one but we will not autoplay the video and controls if you want the controls you will put one if you don't want it you will put zero so this is like that and now you can even attach some uh, events also guys this also takes some events object and uh, on ready is one event inside iframe api so we will attach this custom function which is on player ready and the next property is on state change like this so these are not mandatory guys we are just uh, i will i am just showing you this exist so we can execute a custom function on player state change like this so we can just uh, basically define these functions which is uh, first of all on player ready and inside this we can console log ready and then our uh, we can declare a done variable to false and right here we can declare our function on player state change and we this basically receives this event whenever it's called and basically we can just compare it if event dot data is double equal to yt dot uh, player state playing and uh, done is not false so in that case we will say we will change it to true done is equal to true that's it so this is not mandatory for uh, embedding the video id guys sorry video player we are just writing it for the sake of writing so now you can see we are loading this uh, video id you will see inside this so if you refresh your application now hopefully you will see a video 
appearing here. You will see that Google Docs clone in React Chair Socket.io. This is the same video ID we are passing. So you can control basically the let's suppose if you want uh, let me zoom out something so this is you can see so if you want the controls out there guys you will see the controls will be there if you don't want the controls let's suppose you put zero here so now the controls will not be there you will see that you can see controls are not there and now if you want to auto play the video you will put one here and again as it loads video will auto play like this and then we have the third variable which is players in line so if you put it zero basically what it will do it will not display this video so just make sure that you put this value to be one players in line so that it will basically embed this video and this is all the basic options guys i have shown you and now we will be going ahead and basically we will have this uh, we will have a simple form element where we can dynamically change the video based upon the user input and we will attach the id to the form of form and basically here guys we will be uh, entering a simple input field where the user can write his or her url input type url and id will be url and placeholder enter youtube video url and basically this is required and then we will have a simple button which will say embed video so here you just need to type your url and right here we will first of all get the reference of the form we will be attaching a event listener so when the form submits this is the event handler and this second parameter will be e and here we will be preventing the auto submission of the form by e prevent default after this we will get the url that the user writes which is document dot get element by id url dot value so this is the url that the user has written and now after this guys we just need to change the video based upon the id so first of all we will extract the we will declare basically video id at the very top and then we will initialize this video id to be a function call which will be youtube get id and here we will pass the url and now we just need to define this function guys the link is given in the description of this video you will get all the source code this is basically guys uh, this function which is using some regular expression to extract the id from the url so this is the code here so this will extract this video id and after this we just need to pass this video id to the function which will be responsible for changing the video so we will call this as change video and we will pass the video id so here inside this function guys we will again define this function which is change video and here you will pass your video id and inside this guys inside this change video function what we need to do is that we need to change the video which is displayed so right here we just need to change the video yeah so the very first step we will do player dot q c u e video by id this basically it's a method and here you just pass two options first first is the suggested uh, this id this is not required you can simply pass your video id which is video id that's it and then after that you can pause the video so this basically contains pause video method with the help of this method you can pause the video and here we can call play video this will play the video and also this has third method of stop video so with, so these are three methods are available so in this case we will pause the video like this so now if you basically load this application in the browser and now if you change basically the url here if you see this url let me copy this one copy link address if i now paste it you will now see the link has not been changed let me see youtube get id is not defined 
let me see oh, sorry this needs to be youtube get id so just make sure so now you can see that the video is changing so you can load any video of your choice guys just copy link address and basically with the help of this you will be able to load uh, multiple dynamic videos like this so now we just need to add the controls guys which we will we physically see on the screen so to start the video stop the video so just after this you have uh, two buttons out there basically where we will be controlling it so button first will be the start video and uh, then we have the pause video or you can also call this as stop video as well you can simply say pause so here we can attach on click listeners to it so basically we will call a function which will start video and similarly for pausing it we will attach this function which is pause video and right here we just need to define these two functions that we initialized so right here for starting this video this will be the function which will start video so inside this we will simply call player dot start video that's all and simply for pausing it we will simply call here pause video and inside this function we have this function which is pause video that's all this is really simple and now if you go to the application you will see that if i now click the start button let me see here why it hasn't started player dot start video is not a function so just wait guys i am seeing what is basically the problem oh oh okay, sorry this needs to be play video sorry play video play video like this sorry this is pause video so now it will work click the start button you will see the video will start if i click pause the video will pause again start again pause so now we can control this the start and the pause and now we will be adding two more sliders guys for controlling the volume and also the duration of the video so right here inside your html you will simply basically first of all we will be adding the input field for the volume so right here after this div section simply paste your input field and right here guys basically this says volume and here this is basically a range input field minimum value is uh, 0 maximum is 100 and the default value is 50 and here we are attaching this on change event handler guys whenever you change the value inside the slider this function will execute which is youtube player volume change or you can simply call that vol volume change volume change so here we are passing this value whatever value the user selects this dot value so now we just need to write this function which is uh, function volume change and here we get the volume in the argument and here we can simply set the volume which is uh, equal to volume so now if you refresh your browser guys now let me turn on the audio so that we can even listen here so basically this is if i start this video if i increase the volume if you decrease it you will see the volume will be gone if i increase uh, once again today in this live stream we will be building a google docs clone inside our react js mongodb and socket.io you can see that basically you can control this is the, the volume this is a slider guys from which we are uh, basically controlling the audio now we have to have the second button second slider from which we can control we can move ahead and move backward in the video so basically this will be the second slider so simply paste this one so simply copy paste here and right here we will have this 
so again guys this will be a range input field slider maximum value is 100 minimum is 0 and uh, the, this one is also 0 default value and we are calling this uh, YouTube player current time change and also on input as well like this so these two methods are there so simply you need to copy these two methods I have given in the description of this video in the blog post so I will explain you what these two methods are doing here simply paste it simply just delete this so you can see that guys basically the two lines of code is there it is first of all setting the current time sliding to false and then it is basically moving to whichever time the user has selected in the video using the seek to method so we are doing some kind of mathematics also to move the pointer and now do basically current timing sliding to true like this so now if you basically refresh your browser guys just change it to localhost so now your application is complete you can load any video of your choice just copy the link address you can control the starting you can pause the video you can basically go into the any duration on the video here founder you can see that we can go to the start same you, you, you will get that. All, uh, hello you can see that so i decided you to can also uh, control the duration sorry volume of the video also and this is the comment section so that's all guys this is all about iframe api of youtube how basically we can embed videos and with advanced controls all the source code is given in the description of this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next one